Hey Lord, my name is Kid. I want to come back for another video of Age of History 2. Boys, we're going to continue this series. In the last video, we did a lot. We uh, started playing as the picks. Uh, we went all the way to half, uh, I guess, the century and stuff like that. So we're doing pretty all right. We colonized uh, quite a lot in uh, modern Norway and stuff, uh, even into Sweden. So we're taking a lot of territories over there. Um, aside from that, we are trying to take the mainland to eventually, maybe if we're able to do it, create the Brit uh, Britain Empire, the British Empire and stuff like that. Not sure if it's going to be available or if it's actually a thing that can happen, but uh, we'll see. We'll see for sure. So let's keep, uh, let's keep going right here. I don't know why I'm having such a tough time zooming in right here. It's always a problem in this game. All right. So first thing first. We do want to use our points. We have some points right here. I want to use them in order to attack the Bristol. But uh, I am going to also uh, go for the 75 research right here. Just make sure. There, uh, there we go. Just like that. And uh, we are going to start focusing on these guys. So uh, we do have Stonehenge for ourselves. Or actually we don't. Uh, we don't just yet. Okay, so let's just attack these guys. We can't set an ultimatum. Uh, because we don't have the insult just yet. Okay, yeah. So let's just send an insult really quick and then send an ultimatum on them. So uh, I'm going to ask them for uh, this right here. All of everything that they've got. Now, you got to remember, boys, I am going to start limiting myself because there's going to be empires forming up now. So what I want to do is actually make sure that I don't when I um, uh, to talk, uh, when I try to do an ultimatum, I'm obviously gonna not go for all the territories if it's a huge empire. I'm only limited, limited to asking for 10 territories, 10 regions, that's it. Ma minimum 10 and afterwards I gotta ask for vacillation, vacillation uh, or releasing puppets or stuff like that, right? That's what I gotta ask for. Otherwise it becomes too, way too easy. So I gotta limit myself somehow and that's the way I'm, that's pretty much the only way I'm I thought I could do that, so that's what I'm gonna do, boys. So I spent all my points that I had, extra points, in order to assimilate all these little places. We are gonna need to get some troops over here, and we're gonna send you. Okay, so I can't do anything just yet. Okay, I guess yeah, we are gonna do more libraries, farms, ports, everything like like the usual, boys. There's not a lot uh, much difference right here. Uh, we already have the ports right here. There we go. Library supply camps. Uh, get some soldiers in there because it's a port. There we go, boys. We're doing all right. There's not a, lot, a whole lot uh, that's going to be happening. Aside from us, obviously, taking a bunch of territories and all. But um, I think uh, we're doing. We're going to do a good job to, uh, today for sure with um with our country our new country so we do have stone and so we uh, we got an on our side i thought we already had it but i guess i was mistaken before uh we are going to send him over here he needs reinforcements why not there we go and uh, that's about it oxford you do need to reinforce somebody you might as well reinforce uh Stempton. there we go and um you are not anywhere uh we go ahead and reinforce liverpool and that's basically it london they do it we do need troops over there all right i think we're good we can skip to the next turn boys right away all right so we got 3.7 uh, right here so let's try and see what do we want to do right here i think i want to go for westminster my mayor obviously this is the next part i want to go for we already have eight minus 18 of opinion uh, against them so it's going to go pretty well we're going to be fine we can already do the uh, ultimatum they only have one territory so it's going to be pretty easy uh, almost had enough to actually colonize a, another place as well but uh can't do it boys cannot do it okay so why can't i go for that right here interesting okay no i can't go for the 75 for some reason that my goods were super low as well all right skip to the next turn again and there we go so we got a brand new territory once more boys Let's go ahead and assimilate it, of course, like usual. Farms, libraries, and supply camp. This seems to be a very important place as well. Me uh, West Monster Meyer, whatever. Western Super Mayor. Okay, so that's what they call it. Man, don't don't ask me boys to pronounce names in English. It's going to be rough. 
Now uh, let's finish the economy. They were working on that. Let's finish it up. There we go. And uh, we already worked on the troops. We are going to send them on ultimatum as well. They've got only two uh, territories. Let's get that. And um, let's send the ultimatum. We don't have any more points to spend. Skip the next turn and we got him. So it's becoming pretty easier and easier as we, uh, as we go by. That's why I want to limit myself to 10 territories when I ask for an ultimatum. Right now I'm just getting i'm getting all of them just because it's all just a bunch of minor factions minor countries and they can't defend themselves it's easy to annex them and and all eventually boys will have to tackle a, a big dog right and the big dogs are not just gonna uh, go by like that and allow us to do whatever we want they're gonna reply so that's going to be important part, right? That's what I'm just waiting on to see if it's going to happen or not. We do have Linchester, but uh, originally we want to go for the north. This is mostly what we usually do. Uh, we already have some uh, ultimate. We can already do or go for the ultimatum uh, in the next turn. But uh, right now uh, we don't have enough points. I mean, we can go for it because we have a minus opinion enough, but I, I don't have enough points to do it. So. Do we want to continue to colonize it with the picks over Norway or do we want to start moving over here uh, eventually, right? Over um, over Iceland and Greenland, maybe try and take those. I, I'm not quite sure. I think I much prefer just getting all of this, boys, to be honest. I much prefer colonizing this and forgetting about uh, Iceland for now. I don't think Iceland is going to be... a uh, that much important for me uh, i can do probably get it eventually with another country altogether i really uh, don't care too much uh, about it that much so uh, let's go ahead and skip to the next turn once again there we go so we're in the next uh turn the next year year of fire 461 boys we're going in there um for sure what's gonna happen here is we have enough points now so ulster you were about to lose uh, yourself entirely you're about to be annexed by my uh, by my hand so another turn once again and we got him once again boy so there's another country that we just annexed just like that super easy boys super easy we might actually get all of it uh, without uh, even having to fight like the um, the actual guys right here the actual uh, Irish we don't we might not even have to fight them Let's assimilate them, of course. Assimilate these two right here, these two regions. Okay, so now that that is done, I mean, I'm going to focus on the farms, libraries, and supply camps as well. And I'm going to get some recruits. One thing is for sure, we are moving quite fast, and we already uh, we still have enough points to actually go after another play, uh, people. We are going to go after these guys, uh, the Lynch, uh, Lynch, uh, the Leinster boys which are the Irish, the ancestors of the Irish. So let's see how much territories they got. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they do have six territories. That's quite a lot, boys. See, we're coming towards uh, big uh, places like these. This is an actual monarchy, a pretty big one, substantial one compared to uh, the other ones that were over here. There are a bunch of other little small monarchies and stuff. Tribes are not really a thing anymore. Uh, by that time they're not going to be a thing in uh, Europe so you're going to see just a lot of monarchies but small monarchies like the HRE and stuff is probably going to start to form up I'm not entirely sure though if it is going to form up or not uh, we'll have to see because right now it's the Roma is actually falling apart but by the barbarians hands so not uh, not sure how that's going to go and once the peace deal happens right what are we uh, what are they going to do? I, I'm not sure. All right. Let's me just focus really quick on all the little regions. We got to give them farms and whatnot. Right, so I went ahead and focused on all of it, boys. Still got two territories, obviously, to simulate that we haven't got uh, just yet. So let's just uh, go ahead and go for the next turn right here. Yeah, we still got to simulate uh, these two regions right here. So we're going to do that uh, really quick. Let's assimilate them really quick. Okay, so there we go, just like that. And you can see these guys clearly went to war with somebody right here and took territories because they're having a tough time assimilating that region, which is uh, quite interesting indeed. 
now we don't have enough points to do anything about these guys and we have a lot of high opinion about them so we're gonna change that really quick uh, that's for sure that is one thing I gotta do I gotta change that up I don't I don't I'm not looking for any allies I'm only looking for enemies I want to uh, do ultimatums boys it's the quickest quickest and easiest uh, way of actually invading places um, it truly is in this game so you you uh, having allies takes way too long and it's not worth it at all boys definitely not worth it the other easiest way is to do a union form a union but in order to do that you gotta get you gotta be really high up with somebody uh, already by default and, and I'm not gonna focus like I'm not gonna focus on getting eye up in opinion for no reason so since we are there now in turn 38 we can do an ultimatum how many territories did they have did they have more than uh, Leinster they got one two three four five six seven they actually had one more region than the Leinster had so they even had more boys that's quite uh, interesting they you really had a lot. All right, let's see. This is going to be a challenge to simulate as well. This is going to be another one of those that's going to definitely be a challenge. Let's go ahead and skip though. They did accept, yeah. So uh, nobody seems. It seems really like nobody has anything to defend themselves against us, which is why they're all accepting pretty easily the annexations and stuff, which I'm fine with. I'm definitely fine with. Uh, if they're going, uh, if they're willing to give me all of it, right? There we go. We're just gonna do that. I'm pretty sure I'm not. I didn't assimilate everybody. Uh, we're gonna have to uh, uh, take a look on that. That's for sure. I'm pretty sure we're still. Uh, we still got some regions we need to work with. Uh, we're gonna get all the libraries, farms, supply camps everywhere, though. That's for sure. Try to make sure that um, we've got everything we need in there. Okay. So there we go. We got this right here. We need some troops obviously for all the little ports and stuff to protect ourselves supply camps and uh, get some troops over here get some troops right away there farms supply camps and libraries like always let's uh let me uh focus on everything boys really quick okay i think i got everything i think i got everything i don't need to uh to do anything else we got all the territories i i got uh, everything i need i was supposed to get right here uh, let's go ahead and go for the next turn. We still got some assimilating. Oh, it's only one territory after uh, actually that I had to deal with. Nothing else than that. That's that's interesting. All right. Well, uh, now that we got that, we can't go for the ultimatum. We don't have enough points, and we don't even have enough uh, low opinion. So we are just gonna make sure. There we go for the next turn that we have enough low opinion, so we can do the actual ultimatum we can actually colonize another territory now um do i want to do that sure why not let's keep colonizing in the north let's keep going even more north uh by now so libraries ports farms and everything boys and supply camps right there good 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 we got a lot of stuff going on for us the picks are growing strong boys if we take a look at our thing we don't have the option we legit don't have uh, the option to do anything to uh, to change into the British. Uh, I am gonna uh, once we uh, we are in the, like two turns or something. We have uh, annexed these guys. We're gonna have the entire land right here. So uh, if we don't have any options, I'll just go into vassalization or something. Uh, I'm gonna try and create it by myself. I guess the uh, empire that is. So now we got enough points. Let's spend it to. Uh, annex these guys to do to give them the ultimatum there we go just like that send the ultimatum and we are gonna also do 75% right here just like that we don't have any more points okay let's go boys just like that okay we're good uh, now get the troops over here get uh, focus on the farm and everything uh, supply camps and also assimilate these fools just like that so now we got the entire land for ourselves uh we have some point let's spend it on uh, colonization okay so what else do we need do we want to do first off uh who do we want to go for i'm not entirely sure uh we could try and go for saint uh, uh, saint Elier boys 
for sure we could try and get for that originally it still belongs to the english in real life it does belong to the english so we could probably go for that make it a little bit uh, easier for us i feel like wars for themselves i feel like now we can just start colonizing i'm not really that interested in actually going to europe itself i think we could clear out this border right here actually clear it out and go for phrygia right attack phrygia and clear that out at least it looks a little bit better maybe go after the geats as well just to clear that out and make it a little bit more prettier but after that do I really want to push into Europe? I, I think by then I'm not even... I, we're going to be in the year 500. So I'm not sure if it really is, is going to matter. But if it does matter, I'm not going to go for it. Let me try and change government. No, I don't want to change government. Um, can I? Is there a way for me to switch to a different uh, a people? Different type of people. What if I do release a vassal? No, I have no vassals. Yeah, so I, I don't think I can change into the British. Yeah, I don't think I can change it to the British just yet. I think I just got to stay as the picks. All right, we'll just stay as the picks for now. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to clear that whole thing up right here. So we are going to go after Phrygia right here. Send an ultimatum right away. Boom, boom, boom. Just like that. You're giving me all the territories. You've got the three territories, three provinces. And uh, that's about it, my bo um, buddy. There we go. Go to the next turn. They refuse. See? Not everybody is going to accept. If they have the troops to defend against me, and if they know they can defend against me, uh, they have some sort of uh, chance, they are going to refuse. So we are going to have our first war, boys. Declare war, boys. Boom. We have officially declared war upon the Phrygia. Upon Phrygia. Let's go ahead and start attacking them uh, with half my troops right there and start attacking them over here with half my troops as well and you are gonna go here with half my troops now i don't have a lot of troops there though then i might have to uh try again this is this is their capital after all so i'm not sure if that's such a good idea to do that i cannot be on multiple wars at the same time though i don't want to do that otherwise it's going to weaken me too much so i'm just going to focus on frisia in the meantime i'm going to use the points i've got in order to um, continue our colonization over here, boys. Over this region right here. Let's send you over there. Okay, so um, you are going to get the farms and everything as, uh, as well. We have uh, uh, additional points to do one more territory. Colonize one more place. We are going to just start colonizing. We're going to colonize this one right here. Let's send you... Oh, hold on. Let's send you over here. There we go. There's got a port right here. And uh, give you all the things you need right here. Libraries is obviously for knowledge. It does give us knowledge and stuff like that. Which is very important, boys. It gives us the ability to read for our people and, uh, and all. So let's uh, continue right here. What we're going to do is skip. We're going to start watching the battle, boys. It looks like they're attacking first. Uh, that was the only assault they decided to do. Okay. Oh, they have a lot of... Yeah. All right, so you can see they've got over 2,000 2K troops in their capital alone. So um, this is why they, they, they refuse to attack. Uh, they refuse to give me their territories. It all makes sense now, boys. It all makes sense. I can leave IDs troops together. I'm going to form them together. And uh, we're going to see if we can't uh, march on and try a different assault. I'm going to try again, but I can only get like do have the troops and stuff. So not going to be able to do too much i could always leave i some troops from here send some troops uh why is there not any ports right here i i guess that's one of the places i forgot to uh take care of it looks like it boys i forgot uh one of the territories right here for some reason okay that's okay i guess all right so since we got that i might be tempted to just leave i some troops from homeland but we're gonna have to make do with what we got right here we are going to have to make do with that. So for now, what we're going to do is um, keep spending points, boys. Let's uh, keep going in there into the forests itself. We uh, do need troops over here. We can uh, build them for sure because we are bordering a na another nation. Now, now I'm facing real, fa real uh, threats, boys. That's a real threat right there. Uh, the 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 geese uh, not the geese but uh, these guys the uh, audience the audience 
Ooh, they the Phrygia that is. That uh they just destroyed my army, my entire army right there. Wow. Okay, yeah, this is not gonna be easy. This is gonna be a tough one, boys. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Um this is definitely not gonna be an easy one. Uh, we can't really. I don't know why say, uh, saying that I should assimilate people. I, I, I haven't even taken natural territory by myself. Uh, that doesn't make sense. We got yellow fever going on. Oh, all across the uh, the land right here. This big time yellow fever going on right there. That is not good at all. All right then. All right. So what are we going to do here? Because obviously I don't have any troops. Enough troops here to enforce. I gotta keep these ones to protect myself. That's yeah, I can't mooch, march on. I don't even have enough. They've got seven troops, uh, 700. I am going to have to, s like, spend some troops right here. To go for half right here. Go for half and go for another half uh, like that. Same thing for you. So I'm going to send another re uh, some reinforcements as much as possible right here, boys. So send some reinforcements, the, the ones I can at least. Send them over there. And we are going to uh levi all these troops i don't know i don't know if it's going to be enough hopefully it is but uh for right now we're, it's going to have to make do so let's continue to colonize because we got nothing else to do uh basically we're uh, basically right now just doing the wars so i can only do one war at a time but in the meantime we can colonize places boys uh, as well this troop uh, we might as well send him over there reinforce a little bit and um next up we are going to colonize this place. There we go. Get some more troops right here, boys. Farms, libraries, supply camps as usual. And uh, we, are, we can't colonize any more places. So let's continue to the next turn. We got a big war going on. Yeah, they retook everything that they had. They tried to attack us. Didn't work. We do have over 1,200 soldiers coming in as reinforcements right here. Let's see if they're going to be able to do anything at all. Uh, these guys, for some reason, I gotta assimilate them. I don't know why. I don't know why I need to assimilate them right now. It's probably because they're trying to... They're getting a huge boost. Just because they, uh, they, they know we're at war right now. So they're probably... They probably want to... To focus on helping out the Frisians for some reason. Let's send... Half of you over here. And the other half... I know it's a bad idea to... To split them up, boys, but... Oh, okay. No, never mind. All right, we're gonna send all of them there. Because I, I thought I could go there, I guess, but I guess it's not the case. Maybe half of you is gonna be enough, boys. Hey, buddy. Let's go. Half of you. Let's see if it's enough, boys. Let's see if it is. And maybe another half right there. Please tell me it's gonna be enough. God damn. I, I am actually having a bit of a tough time here against them. Which is fun. It's fun. It's fun to have a, a natural challenge and all, you know. It really is. So libraries and supply camps, of course. And uh, we are going to send you over here, I guess. Just like that. Alright, so what do we do now? There we go. Assault right there. We got him. It took a lot of our forces, though. We managed to take their capital and we took everything. Alright, we're good. We managed to beat them up, boys. We, uh, we defeated them right there. 75% uh, percent technology, please. There we go. Uh, before we assimilate them, I do want to make the peace. So where's the, the peace treaty? It's right there, right? Yeah. Peace negotiations, buddy. Let's see what we got. So we, I'm, I, I am going to take everything. We're going to take uh, do 50 turns. Boom. Send the demands. Send them over. And we are going to start assimilating these guys right away. I can't assimilate them. They don't belong to me. Who's not happy then? Oh, it's these guys over here. These are the ones who need to be assimilated a bit further. Okay, whatever. Okay, so that, now that we got all that. Ooh, that, that was a tough battle, boys. Not an easy battle. We can still colonize a little bit. So let's do that. There we go. Continue colonizing these uh, little lands right here. Bordering the other nations. Blocking them off as well. That's what I'm trying to do as much as possible. Try to block them off from actually having access to these places and stuff. Don't know why the other play uh, the other countries are not actually trying to colonize the regions. If they tried, boys, they would have gotten that a long time ago by now. I wouldn't have been able to go there. So it's quite interesting that they they're not actually going for that. All right, next turn.
peace deal completed they have completely been annexed or have they no actually not not okay so Phrygia was a thing yeah Phrygia is over here boys as well I forgot that it was a thing over there so they just had some had some lands over there well I didn't make peace for them so we can't declare war on them for another 50 turns so that is that um, all I was ex all I was interested about anyways was to clear that thing up it looks a little bit more prettier now and we're gonna do the same thing with the geats same thing for the Phrygia I guess that's why now I understand definitely why they they refused to give everything to me because obviously they didn't um, they had a lot more territories in Europe I guess they are a, a part of Belgium they could consider themselves as being Belgium uh, from Belgium and stuff like that so modern Belgium uh, Easterlin as well okay but like uh, Netherlands as well pretty much right so that's quite interesting we've got a lot of stuff we got to do right here we're already building all of this I am gonna get some extra troops right here because uh, these are fresh territories that we've just got uh, for uh, from war so we're gonna get from all these three territories some stuff right here did I get everything I didn't get the farms I didn't get the supply camps uh, over here I didn't get anything so gotta focus on that boys gotta make sure that everything is, go uh, is good okay so that's pretty much it so now we're at peace we can actually focus on the geats the geats are gonna be the main target now I could actually try and form a union with them I think it could it could work boys let's try let's try that route let's try and form a union with them let's see if it's actually gonna work if it doesn't work I'm just gonna uh, completely annex them or send them on ultimatum and stuff so next turn they refused okay they don't want to all right so I'll see the, the high opinion doesn't is not worth anything it really isn't worth anything at all boys you gotta really just go for the next thing really you really gotta go for the assimilation most of anything annexation and stuff like that is much better than the union a uh, union is looks cool and all but it's absolutely useless at some point so we are not going to do that we are obviously uh, going to finish the uh, our campaign with the picks today uh, because next video we are going to go in asia so um, I want to make sure that we go into the 500 years, uh, year 500 and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and we actually don't have enough to send an ultimatum. But what I do have is a bunch of insults. So we're going to start insulting as much uh, them as much as possible right there. There we go. Start insulting them. One more uh, go at it. And there we go. Now we have enough. Uh, for the next turn, uh, high low opinion, so we can send them the ultimatum we need. And just like that, there we go. So now in the next turn, we're getting there, boys. 492 of the year uh, that we are. Five of colonization. Our empire is so strong. We probably have one of the biggest empire out there now. Uh, I am going to have to look at the world for sure, but uh, we are doing pretty well. So, the Geats... Let's hope that you actually uh, accept our offer right here. All right, so we don't have to go to war with you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right there. All right, so that's what I'm gonna take. Actually, uh, undo, undo this one, undo this one. I am gonna ask for this right here. Nine and ten. There we go. Just so it makes a little bit more sense because I just want to make it a bit prettier and stuff. So I can only go for that. That's all I can go for. I can go for these three region, uh, 10 regions. And the rest is just demand vassalization. Demand annexation? No. Demand military access. Uh, vassalization? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. I guess I can only ask for these 10 territories. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to go for that, I guess. So I can only ask for 10 territories at a time, boys. Send them the ultimatum. Let's see if they're going to accept or not. I don't have a lot of troops, though. Well, over here, I should... Well, it's going to be fine. But it's, I don't think it's going to be enough to attack them. They might actually destroy me as well. So, uh, we're going to see. We're going to see where uh, this leads. They accepted. Wow. All right. Well, the Geats actually accepted. In my in their place, I would have actually refused because I 
legit do not have the forces to, to defeat them. Sure, but back at home, I've got enough. But uh, that's quite interesting. I did not expect them to actually accept that easily and uh, give me the stuff that I wanted. So they gave me, they gifted me with the whole thing, boys. Interesting. They, they actually gifted me with um, the, the territories I asked them. Okay. Well, I guess I'll, uh, I'll, pay, I'll take care of all the little uh, lands now. All right, so we're going to head already and sent these troops over there. We're going to mobilize them over that region because we're not... Uh, uh, we're gonna not gonna be at war with anybody. We are still gonna be bordering these guys, so I can still have these troops over there. And uh, same thing, though. The thing I want to do now, we're gonna need to be friendly with them because I don't wanna. They gave me their territories, so you know I don't wanna. I don't wanna go after them anymore. You know I wanna give them a chance to survive and stuff. Uh, we do have plenty of simul assimilating to do, so let's make sure that we do all of it. Are we good? I think we got everything, pretty sure uh, that uh, everything's under control now. So um, that's pretty much it. We are really getting down to the uh, nitty-gritty, nitty boys. When it comes down to uh, the year 500, we're almost there. So uh, let's keep uh, turning for the next turn. There we go. Yeah, I think next turn is going to be year 500. I think it's going to be it, boys. Looks like that might be the case. So 75%. Let's do uh, another technology point. The last one we're going to spend for the, uh, the people. Let's do uh, population growth. They didn't get any. Uh, they didn't have any points before that. So um, before, because I don't want to get them into any trouble or anything, uh, the pits, I'm not going to try and annex anybody with those points because they're not going to be able to assimilate anybody the next turn. So um, the AI is probably not going to do that too much. So instead, what I want to do is do an aggression pack for 50, 40 turns with them, improve my relationships. I can't, they're already suspended for 20 turns. So we have a truce until 27 turns. Okay, so we have an automatic truce with them for another 27 turns. Fine by me then. Well, I guess then in that case, we'll just, there we go. Get these territories right here, boys. So get uh, the last bit remaining territories that we can get, that we can colonize, we'll do it. We're gonna send you over here. And uh, I guess you, buddy, are going to go there. And you are going to get some soldiers, farms, libraries, and supply camp. All right. So it seems like that is going to be it right here. Let me just save it up, though. Save the game really quick. We're going to go up on into the next turn. Boom. Saving it. And dot of like that, we are in the next turn. Year 500, the two, second of April, boys, of 500. Uh, and that is what the picks look like under my leadership. So I definitely helped them out quite a lot. Um, I mean, we'll see if they're going to be able to survive once I'm gone uh, for another uh, 100 years. But um, this is uh, this is crazy. They, they defeated the Phrygia. Uh, Phrygia. They annexed most of the territories, former territories from the Geats. So they've got quite a lot. They've got all of this. So... Modern England, boys, is uh, growing for sure. If we take a look at the entire world, welcome to the new age as well. So we are in a brand new age, boys. Uh, age of darkness now. So we are entering the medieval age. So that is quite interesting. We are into the age of darkness. Um, we have, oh my God, look at that. Quite a lot that happened with the Aztec Empire. It seems like they lost some territories right here i don't know what happened but maybe neutral stuff i don't know they lost a couple of neutral territories they uh kind of blew up in the middle right there so the aztec did not do so well they lost a little bit wow all right did not expect that from them they definitely i, I thought they were going to survive a little bit longer they're starting to blow up already I think what's happening there is the AI actually cannot finish the war because it's uh, they don't have any ports. They don't have any ports, so they don't know how to to do it and stuff like that. They they can't. They haven't researched, I guess, the technology or whatever. They can't go into the shores and go into the sea and invade that way. Do na naval battle is not a thing for them just yet. Adrigia is at war with anybody with just with Rome. Okay, so Adrigia is a big one as well. Uh, right here, we've got the Alenia, 
nothing has been really taken too far right here that's pretty much it we've got the kanju right here um which is a tribal nation a horde natural horde nation boys so uh, they're doing all right for themselves i guess and we've got the big zong uh, uh, new uh ones that uh, are doing just a fine as well uh, they're still at war i think with yeah the the on dynasty so We'll see how this leads, boys. Remember to leave a like and subscribe to the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.